Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we configure styles in reporting. This is an option present in reporting where you can customize how your title of the report looks or if you have a bar chart or if you have a pie chart, how can we customize its coloring? So let's quickly jump into service now and we can see all those style configurations. We are in service now and I will create a new report by going under reports and then clicking on create new and I will give the report name. I can say demo style report and I will select the source type as table and I will take the table as incident and I will select this. If you don't know about basics of how to create a report in ServiceNow, please click on the top right corner and I will click on next and I will come here to style and if we see here we can configure the title of this report and the title of this report is demo style report the first option is show chart title so it says report only and we can select never so it will never show you this demo style report title or we can select as always and it will always show you report title and then we can change the title of the report if we want to for example if i want it to say as incident report and i will save this again it will change the title of this report here then we can change the sizing of this title as well for example if i double it and I will save this. We should be able to see a bolder text and this has been updated. Now if we want to change this color of the title, we can go ahead and select any other color. For example, if we want red instead of black, I'll go ahead and save this. And the title color has been changed. Then we can also change the alignment of this title. For example, right now it is selected as center. I can make it left align or maybe right align and I will save this and it will move to the left. Now, if I go ahead and change the type of the report, for example, if I select here as pie chart and I click on next and I group it by, for example, state and click on next. I will get multiple option here under styles if you see general title and legend we have already explored title and it has almost all similar options except the last one which is the title vertical alignment now we can actually move this title of the report from top to middle or to bottom for example I move it to middle and it will be placed in center like this I'll just keep it at top as of now and then we will go to general in general it says use color palette so I can go ahead and customize the color of this chart as well as of now it is selected as use color palette and the palette is selected as default UI now I can go ahead and select some other palette as well where I can say the color number one is blue orange and so on i'll just go ahead and select some other except default ui and for example if i select blue light to dark and then i will save this all those color schemes will be customized now if you want to create your own color palette i'll click on new and then I can give color number one, color number two, color number three and so on up till color number 32. And all those colors will be displayed here. For example, color number one of closed incidents would have came as red if I would have selected red and color number two would be blue if we have selected blue in color number two and it would have been blue for the in progress tickets. I'll go ahead and again select it as default UI 14 which was selected earlier then we can have an option of using several colors and here we can give our own colors for example I already had selected red and blue color 
so these are the hex codes which are separated by commas and I will save this and we can see the red and blue color have been assigned to the states we can have more colors for example if I want the yellow color I can go ahead and google the hex code of yellow color and I will copy this I will go back to my report and I will put a comma and paste that color and as soon as it is pasted I will save this report again and now the third color would be yellow and the fourth color is again on hold red so if I give the fourth color separately it will be changed to that color and if I go ahead and copy the green color hex code as well for example this one and I will paste it here separated by a comma and save this I will see all four different colors here and the final option is use chart colors if defined and I will save this and these colors have been automatically selected now how can we set this chart colors I will type here chart colors and I will open in a separate tab and if I select the table here incident and we can see here for state field it is already defined out of the box for number one value it is blue color for number two value it is green so for each and every state out of the box we have already defined some colors now if you want to change these colors or add for some other columns and assign specific colors to those values you can go ahead and do that and then select use chart colors if defined next is display data labels if I select this and I save this all the data labels with respect to each color will be displayed along with the report and if I select custom chart size it will ask me for the width and height of the pie chart for example if I make it 300 the width and increase the height to maybe 700 So it will be displayed something like this and again we can go ahead and select the drill down view as well if you're not sure what are drill down reports please click on the top right corner and this is the view which would be shown to the users when they select one of the states there are many views which are available so you have to be very mindful you are selecting only the views which are for the incident table and then the final option here is the decimal precision so how the values in these reports should be shown they should be shown up till the decimal precision of 2 and for example if we see here it is showing only 2 values after that decimal and then moving on to the final option which is the legend and the legend appears here at the bottom do you want to show this legend or not we can actually remove this by unchecking this checkbox and this legend would be removed I'll select this again and we can align it horizontally and vertically as well for example it was showing at the bottom in the center now I can go ahead and maybe put it on left and for vertical I can make it at top so it will be not displayed at left top and as soon as I save this it will be moved here and if you see it has messed up all the styling in this report I'll just move it back to the center and at the bottom and I will save this now if we want to show a border around this legend I can go ahead and select this option and I will save this and I would be able to see a border and then finally left align legend text if you want to left align your text here you can go ahead and save this and you would be able to see that and we can see the size of the box has increased and it has been left aligned now so these are some generic style configurations which are available on the reporting i hope this video was helpful to you please let me know in comments if you have any questions please subscribe to my channel